King River is probably the oldest song uh, on the album. I think it's a song that Grant and I started working on before the band was actually even put together. It was one of the first songs completed. It was also one of the first songs that we kind of shelved and put away for a while, especially when the other guys came into the band, we started working on other tracks, new stuff as well. Uh, the thing that really turned it around off his own bat, Clay had gone in one night and put this new descending key line uh, in the chorus, which just totally gave the whole song a new flavour uh, and kind of revitalised it for everybody. So we all sort of went back and started reworking uh, the parts. So between that and the work Mark had done on the arrangement at the end, uh, the song ended up structure-wise being one of the more interesting tracks on the record. Probably the main part of King River I think I uh, had the most involvement in is the last chorus. Um, so I was pretty adamant that it needed to go uh, somewhere else and really have that sense of finality to the story. Um, so, you know, making that big descend into the, the sort of E major and it opens up into that ascending line. Um, that was really fun to bring to the band and I, I think they were really into it. The story for this one is uh, based around the Edai and King Valley area where, um, where Grant actually grew up. Uh, none of us had any idea of <laughs> what Edai was when he first mentioned it to us. King River is one of those songs that works around an idea from inception to completion. Uh, I was home in Victoria on my family farm in the King Valley. Uh, at the time when I started working with those, those chords, and I guess my location at the time kind of dictated the lyrical content because it looks at the idea of home as somewhere you can return to uh, as a port in a storm. Uh, and the idea that you can only take shelter there for so long before you've got to return to the weight of the world. One of the feature instruments um, in King River is the Mellotron. Uh, it's really sort of prominent in the bridge. We ended up whipping out the Mellotron, started mucking around with some notes, and we had this the string sample from, I think, one of the Led Zeppelin songs, and we just started playing with it and, and throwing it in the song and ended up finding a, a, a way to use it in the middle section of King River. We managed to find there was actually a key on the actual Mellotron that was, that was knackered um, and made a really crazy sound when you pressed it. You had to, had to get it just right, but it sort of made a crazy sort of squealing, wailing sound at this really high note. Uh, which actually became the feature part of the bridge section of the song. It's really good holding that down, I reckon. Yeah. I actually don't hate that. Oh! I love that, though. That was the Nescafe ad. <laughs> <laughs> 